Greetings, everybody. Let's get this thing started. Panda or Aja O bringing you guys another Black Ops 4 video here on the channel. Today, guys, we're going to be taking a look at the top five beginner tips for conquering Black Ops 4 zombies. So if you're looking to improve, you're looking to get better, make it further in the rounds, maybe get better so you can do the Easter eggs, we got you covered here on the channel. So let's get right to it. Number one, custom games. As you guys can see, there are five categories here. I'm going to quickly fly through them, show you guys some of the categories and some of the different items that you can mess with. Under general, if you scroll down here to special rounds, you're able to turn these on and off. Special rounds include dogs, it includes the tigers, and the other big mid bosses. Over here, under systems, you can have it so you spawn in with the power on. You can also have it so that you spawn in with the power doors open. Moving on over to weapons, you can edit and adjust the special weapon so the charge rate is faster, twice as fast. It's very useful because all the special weapons are OP in this game. There's also your shield. You can make it so it has double the durability so it won't break as quickly. And you also can have it so you can highlight the shield pieces, making it easier to find. And then lastly, I'll show you guys quickly. This is the main one here. You have your health points and last stand all beneath the player category um, for health you can crank it all the way up to an extra three bars of health you could do regen delay to short once you take damage there has to be a small window of time before the health begins to regen that will shorten that length of time to as short as possible there's also regen speed so once that regen delay is over how quickly your health will come back regen speed instant means that it will come back immediately you can also just give yourself a ton of points you, you can go from 500 all the way up to 50,000 and lastly, in Last Stand, the main one, in my opinion, is Self Revives. That'll allow you to revive yourself anywhere from zero times up to 99. Number two is choosing the right elixirs. So to get to your elixirs, you're gonna go to create a class. You will see your elixir set up over here. The four I have equipped are four really good ones. The first one is anywhere but here. Instantly teleport to a random location, so that's great for getting you out of harm's way. Burned out. The next time you take melee damage, nearby zombies will burst into fire. This one I probably use the most. You get three activations per usage. After that, you guys have temporal gift. Power-ups last longer. Now this has two effects. They'll take longer for the power-up to disappear. Also, the effects of that power-up will last longer as well, so your insta-kills will last longer. You also have here Aftertaste. Aftertaste is really good. Keep all perks after being revived, whether solo or in co-op. This one will take you guys a little bit longer to unlock, but once you do get here, nowhere but there is very, very good for co-op because you'll teleport directly to a downed teammate. One tip. Do not pop this right after your friend downs. Give it a couple of seconds so the zombies can clear away from your friends and then you can teleport safely back to your partner or teammate. Moving on to number three. Number three actually involves your special weapons. In Black Ops 4, you do not have to build find, spin the box, or do anything to get your special weapon, you will spawn in with them. The meter will fill up as you get killed, and once the meter is full, you will be able to use your special weapon. Now the most important thing to note about this, and I've already made a video on the Chaos Crew special weapons, each special weapon has three stages, and as you guys can guess, they get incredibly more powerful with each stage. So my best tip for you guys is to make sure you start using your special weapons as soon as you get them, and try to get the best use out of them. Don't pop it at the end of the round unless you're really in need of using it. Try to pop it when there's a big horde of zombies around you, because the more zombies you kill with it, the faster it's going to level up. And trust me, you want this thing to be at level 3 by the time you get into the higher rounds. One last tip with special weapons. For most of them, right trigger is stage 1, left trigger is stage 2, and left and right triggers together is stage 3. That's for most of them except for the shock rams, I believe. So make sure you are utilizing those properly. Then my next tip involves perks. There are two perks that I absolutely suggest that you use when you are trying to get better at zombies. Number one is going to be Quick Revive, 
as you can see quick revive shorter delay before regenerating health and increased re regeneration rate revive players faster so we talked about that health regen delay earlier it's going to shorten that and it's also going to regenerate your health faster very useful also don't be afraid to throw it in your modifier slot as you can see gain a movement speed boost after health regeneration starts reviving grants both players full health and what i would call probably my go-to would be dying wish so instead of entering last stand the player goes berserk for nine seconds the reddish kind of overlay on your screen and while berserk they are invulnerable and melee damage is greatly increased afterwards the player is left with one health cooldown increases with every use so instead of going completely down and losing a life you'll get a chance to kind of get back into it in that berserk mode um, and if you put it in the modifier player will receive full health when no longer berserk so super good make sure you guys are using it those are the two perks i definitely suggest using the rest of them it's all up to whatever you like on to our fifth and final tip we have the armory able to level up your weapons right now we have a custom game on but what's important to notice say you're really big on using assault rifles and you want to use the kn as you guys can see here we're able to go ahead and put on hybrid mags reload faster and increase ammo capacity we could put on rapid fire increasing our fire rate we put on the grip reduce recoil now those are all really good but what's really really important to notice some of them have operator mod and once you level it up to its max level you will unlock this this is one that you guys are probably more used to seeing because a lot of people have this maxed out by now you put all these attachments on there but then lastly you have the stiletto knife this thing is crazy powerful i think it's like a one shot melee maybe till like round four or five also really worth making sure after each game that you play that you go in and add on your attachments and, but on that note guys i'm out of here i'm sending you good vibes be sure to like and subscribe and i'll catch you next time panda